Hi, this is Mr. Messerman with Flipped Classroom Vodcast. Music of Waters number 13. I can create and analyze topographic maps from 3D models. This will be assessed in two parts. Part A, creating a topo map, and Part B, analyzing a topo map. So what you see here is a 3D model of a little volcano, a little cinder cone. And this is a standard method for demonstrating a topographic map or contour map. The first thing I'm going to do is mark some one centimeter marks on the side of this tray. Watch it right here. These marks are going to be our contour interval. The distance, the vertical distance between contour lines. So the procedure is to fill the tray with water. Why water? Well, because it always takes a horizontal, perfectly flat and horizontal surface. It is perfectly level. So if we fill it up to the first mark, actually it looks like I filled it to the second mark. Clear out some of the droplets there. And now I'm going to look straight down on it and I'm going to trace the edge of the water on the landform camera angle is not straight down so it doesn't line up perfectly from this camera angle. Now we will add water to the second mark or the next mark and you can see that it's moved up on the landform a little bit and the water on the land describes a new shape. So now I draw this line in and we now have a second contour. This contour is one centimeter higher than the previous contour. And now we'll keep doing this for all the other contours. Keep drawing the outline of the water where it touches the model. Add some more water. Trace that. Add some more water. Trace that. And one more time to the very top of the volcano. And now we got the little crater contour in there which has hatcher marks. And there you have it. That's a topographic map of this volcano made with water. Here is Google Maps terrain map. And if you zoom in on it, you see that it has topographic, sorry, contour lines. It is a topographic map with contour lines. It also has shaded relief to show the shape of the land. Here's Mount Sentinel. We'll slide over and look at the southwest here, South Hills. And you start to hopefully get a sense of the shape of the land from the contours. Here's what a USGS topographic map looks like if you were to buy one and carry it in the field to use for hiking It's got city features on it, and roads, and houses, rivers, forested areas in green. Okay, a few notes. Pause this to uh, take them down. Topography relief is the shape of the land. T topographic map is a map that shows topography with contour lines. And a shaded relief map shows topography with shading of topography. Probably could have worded that a little better. Contour line, a line that traces a horizontal path across the topography. Contour interval, the vertical distance between adjacent contour lines. And the rules of contour lines that you'll be practicing with uh, some models in the classroom. They can never cross, they can never end. They always close on themselves, but can run off the map. And they can't branch like a Y. Thanks for watching.